Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my top 10 blushes of the year. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I picked 10 blushes because first of all, I love blush. Second of all, I have two categories. So five powder blushes and five cream or liquid blushes. So jumping right in, I called this one at the beginning of the year and unfortunately it was a limited edition blush. It's the one by Chanel, if you recall, it was almost January, February, something like that, really early in the year this came out. It's a blush and highlighter duo. It's such a beautiful finish. I wish this was part of the permanent collection because it's so pretty. It has a different texture than their other blushes. Um, their other blushes are more, more powdery and actually let me just get a little bit here. I'm gonna add some because I haven't worn it for so long. It's such a pretty one, okay. Just wanted to add a little bit and that's a lot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I didn't mean to put it on, but I just haven't worn it for a while and I wanted to see. I just wanted to add a little more. It's a blush video, so it's okay. If I have too much blush, but I really do love that one so much and I wish it was not a limited edition item. It's so beautiful. It has the most radiant, yet not uh, shimmery, not glittery kind of finish makes the skin glow. It's one of those blushes that makes the skin look better. Unfortunately, that one was limited edition, but there is one here that reminds me of it, so I'll talk about that in a moment. We also have this one, which I don't think any of these blushes will be a surprise to you because I talk about them all the time, Chantecaille's Sea Turtle. This is just a beautiful go-to blush. It goes with everything. It's a little bit warm toned, so it's perfect for me because it comes across as neutral because I'm warm toned anyway. And it has a more matte finish, so nothing shimmery or glittery in there. It's a lovely one to layer on top of other blushes, especially cream especially cream blushes, or if you wanna buff something out, I think it's a really beautiful one. So this is very much a staple in my blush wardrobe. Okay, I'm gonna put these together because they're essentially the same blush, just a couple of different shades. But the Clay de Peau, that's the one that reminds me of the Chanel in that it makes your skin look even more beautiful. So these duos by Clay de Peau, and I have four of them, and these two are more consistent in the way that they glow. Okay, let's turn them around. <laughs> they make the skin glow really beautifully without any, I'm gonna say it again, shimmer sparkle. So they make the skin look better. So this is 105, and I love this one because it's a very understated neutral blush on me. So whenever I'm looking for something that's not going to compete with an eye or a lip, I will pull for this shade right here. I'll actually put this on the cheek and then this goes under almost like a contour. And then this one is 102. So if you want something cooler, this has the same finish. The other two that I have, there's a little bit of shimmer in a couple of the shades. So that's why they don't fit into this category. I don't know why they did that, but I like this. The finish is more consistent in both shades in these duos. So I love these so much. Yeah, so it's gonna be hard to choose one blush. This one, which I get so many compliments on every time I wear it, it's the Wayne Goss Palette in Coral Rose, and it's this shade right here. It's a beautiful, warm tone. Um, and let me just put a little bit on now to show you. I'm gonna have a lot of blush here but it just has the loveliest finish. So pretty. But it is, it's like a veil of color, which is why I love this one so much. It's difficult to go overboard, like <laughs> that Chanel one I went in with first. It's easy to go overboard quickly, but this one builds up really nice and slowly, and you can do more of a sheer layer if you want to begin with, and you can also build it up. So that one is a beautiful, lovely flush of color that provides some glow. So the common thing about these blushes is that they enhance the skin. These two are limited edition. I really hesitate putting these in here, but they are some of the best of the best. So I thought, let me just put them in. Um, the Clay de Peau is not limited edition, so those are great ones to invest in. And the Chantecaille Sea Turtle is not limited edition either. Now these two are limited edition, but their formulas are similar. So I wanted to put them together. The Flower Power, by Chantecaille as well as the holiday one, this one, Akoya. 
So they have a similar kind of finish in that they glow on the skin as well. So they are skin enhancing blushes. These are both light veils of color as well, even though this Akoya looks very vibrant. It's really gentle going on. This one's extremely gentle going on, especially because it's not as vibrant. Um, so this is a lovely one to kind of buff out your blushes and make them even softer looking. I love this one for that. So again, Flower Power, this was limited edition, and then Akoya. So I hope Chantecaille comes out with permanent blushes with this formula because I think it's so pretty on the skin. I love something really basic, like this is a basic blush the one um, in Sea Turtle, it's more of like your traditional formula, but these really enhance that glow of the skin. I love these so much. Those are my top five powder blushes. Let's move on to cream and liquid blushes. So this one was earlier on in there, I think, or did I get this the year before? I can't remember. It's this one. I don't talk about it much, but what I love about this one is that this does not lift up your concealer or makeup underneath. This is one of the first products that I ever found that didn't do that. So I love this for that. But you can see I've used it quite a bit. Um, it's a lovely one. I don't use the bronzer as much, but I do love this blush and I love this color. It's a little bit warmer as well. You know, I love those kinds of blushes. The next one's a liquid blush. It's the Cheek Gelee by Chantecaille. This one's in Vibrant. So there's Happy, there's Lively. Those are lighter. But if you want something with a bit more color, um, especially for medium to more rich skin tones, I would recommend this one because it really shows up on the skin. I love this one for a pop of color as well as just a really simple look. It is so pretty on the skin. I love this shade. I think it's quite universal as well. Um, we have here Westman Atelier Chouchette. This one also has a peachier tone to it. And this one is more of like your traditional cream blush. So there's a bit, I don't wanna say thick, but there is a thicker consistency uh, to this one than what I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So if you want a traditional cream type blush, this one's really beautiful. It doesn't lift off any of the makeup underneath either either. And what I've done with these um, cream blushes is I've tried them under powder as well as over powder. And they work well both with and without powder. This one is probably not a surprise. I keep talking about this one. Um, this is Victoria Beckham Beauty, the cheeky blush stick and in the shade major. This is one of the most beautiful blushes I've ever tried, powder or cream, because it just looks so natural on the skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, but you can just see a beautiful flush of color, has a nice staying power about it. Doesn't lift off makeup underneath it either. So I've been using this one a lot. This one's really beautiful layered under powder blushes as well. I'll do that with this. If you want more dimension without putting a pop of color on your cheeks, you can go with something like this and then go over it with one of the powder blushes. I think it's so, so pretty. This one comes in a palette and this is fairly new to me. In fact, I don't even know if I have the video up yet of it. I think I'll be posting the video of it, but I tried this palette out and I love the blush in the um, deeper palette, but I think this one's right up my alley. This is the Natasha Denona blush in the palette here. This is limited edition, unfortunately, but it's the Glam Face palette in light. So I like the one in the uh, dark palette as well, but it's a little too intense for me. So this one is great for like medium to lighter skin tones. Really love the ink and see. It's got that peachy tone to it as well. So I love that one on the cheeks. Same experience, doesn't lift off makeup. So none of these cream products that I'm talking about lift up the concealer and I have that issue right here in the front. If you've been here before, I conceal quite a bit in the front here and what happens when I add blush is it will lift off that concealer and then you can see my dark spots underneath. So none of these cream products lift off that makeup and so that's huge for me because I don't find that with every cream blush. These colors are also really beautiful, lovely for layering any of them. You can put them on first. You don't have to layer, but what I like to do is put those on first and then follow up with a blush, something like say this one or one of the um, Chantecaille blushes. Oops, one of the Chantecaille blushes, I might follow up with that. Or on a simple day, I'll go in straight with one of these blushes. And I love this blush brush. I just wanna talk about this really quickly. For those cream products, this Clay de Peau brush, the blush brush, has been a game changer because that has allowed me to really apply it 
very precisely. And this also does a great job of making sure that makeup doesn't get lifted off underneath. So this helps as well. But that is it for my top 10 blushes of the year. I will be picking one blush, I think. I think I'm gonna try and pick one blush. I might have to pick one powder and one cream because I, I think blush is maybe my favorite product might be my favorite product. These are my top picks, so I'll be choosing one of these to be my favorite blush, or like I said, maybe two, <laughs> to be my favorite blush of 2021, 2021, along with all of the other favorites in my categories. And I'd love to know what your favorite blushes are for 2021, so please leave them in the comments section below. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.